Yes, sir. So as usual, that I explained that to you just before. What process? Do you understand all that clearly? <coughs> Yeah. yeah. So in that way that you can see over there that um, hold on, Mr. Jones exploit your yo, as the coffee shop owners didn't work out. Oh, just forget that. So in this one that here, you don't have to understand. I just have questions. Okay. So that one day a woman came into the shop and asked for the two xylophones. And three yo-yos. What is xylophones? It's like, oh. a, it's like, it's like a, a instrument, like a music instrument. Musical instrument? I think yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So in that condition, I'm done. Two xylophones and three yo-yos. Okay, you have to consider in this way. Suppose that one xylophone that cost X, and three yo-yo that consist that consider Y. So that means in that way, 2x plus 3y, that will be equals to 13, okay? Okay. Yeah, here you can see that 2, two Zalos, 2 Zalophone and 3 Yoyo, okay? Their combined cost, that is 13 pound, okay? So that means here clearly you have to write that, suppose that you have to consider that the cost of 1 Zalophone, that is x and 3 and 1 Yoyo, that is y, okay? means basically that these are the type of word problems okay related to simultaneous linear equation and in that way you have firstly first duty is to frame a linear equation and then you have to solve that either by any half method okay either you can solve that by substitution or elimination method okay okay so here we can do that next yeah the first equation as i explained that to you every here you can see on your screen clearly 2x plus 3y that is equals to 13 okay and how much did each cost so as usual that of seeing this only one equation that it is not possible to understand that what will be the cost of each uh, object okay so that means also there will be some another condition by which that there will be with respect to that there will be another equation which you will be able to form and then you have to solve both equation to get the value of x and y and when you'll get the value of x and y that will be the cost of one xylophone and one yo yo okay clear oh uh, yes okay so less yeah so also they are saying that i can tell you that but i'll say that x plus y equals to six yeah they're also saying that the cost of one euro and one xylophone that is six so here now you can see clearly okay now you can see clearly that uh, uh, from second equation they are also seeing that the cost of one xylophone and one yo-yo that is six okay now you have two equation mm -hmm. simply you have to solve that one okay yes so uh, there are two method Elimination, substitution, anyone that you can do that in elimination that you have to make any of variable, okay? Okay, equals. So here you can see that in your second equation, either you can multiply the second equation by 2 so as to equate x variable, okay? Otherwise, yeah. you can multiply that by 3 so as to equate y, okay? Clear? Okay. Mm -hmm. So then when you'll do so, yes. So in that way, will this help you to discover the price of hexaphone and yo-yo? The difference between the orders and the cost gives you another equation. Okay, x plus 2y equals to 7. Okay, x plus 2y equals to 7. Okay, they are subtracting that firstly. Okay. So you will get this equation x plus 2y equals to 7 and one equation was there x plus y equals to 6. Yes, so that means it is not possible for you to understand in this way that what will be the cost of one exophone and one xylophone and one yo-yo, okay? So only, that means only there is a method, okay? There is only a method of solution, means either elimination or substitution. And for that one, you just have to be confirmed about that. There should be two equations, okay? Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Understand? Yep. Yeah. Yes. So here, if we double the second equation, oh yes. Here you are seeing that they are they are uh, equating the variable x. So that's why that they are multiplying equation two, equation two by two. So here it will also be there because in your first equation there is two x. Okay. So that's why they are multiplying that equation two by two so as to equate x. So it will be two x plus two y equals to twelve. Second equation. Now the, then you can subtract that. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Here you can see that multiply equation two by two, and then you can subtract that. When you subtract that, then x and x that will be cancelled, and uh, in subtraction sign will change over there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So here you can see that two x two x that will be cancelled, and if you subtract that three y minus two y that will be y, and thirteen minus twelve that will be one. Okay. So that's why now you can clearly understand that one uh, one yo yo cost that is your one yo yo cost. That is your uh, one pound, okay? Yeah. Understand, beta? Mm-hmm. Yes. So, and then when you will get the value of y, then you can plug in your value of y in your uh, any of equation. So you can see that one, x plus one equals to six, then x equals to five. So now you can understand clearly. That one one xylophone cost five pound and one yo-yo cost one pound. Clear? Yes. Great. Now, yes. So here, beta. Just see here. There is another question. Okay. So here also they are saying that the seven xylophone and two yo-yo cost twenty-four pound. Eleven xylophone and Four yo-yo cost forty-two pound. Find first term. The question is two equation. Why? Because that when you have considered that, let us consider that one xylophone and one yo-yo cost that is x and y. Okay. So that means in that way your first equation that will be seven x plus two y equals to twenty-four. Do you understand it? Yeah, because yes. of the cost. That, that that's because of the yeah. cost, right? Yes, yeah. yes. Because cost one one object cost that you have to determine, and regarding to that one, okay, regarding to that one, you will be able to frame the equation, and then you have to simplify or solve that. So seven x plus two y that is equals to twenty four. That will be the cost of one. Uh, for, I mean, so that is uh, that will be first equation. Or here eleven x plus four y that will be cost to forty two. That will be your second equation. Okay. Here okay. you can see that here uh, coefficient of x are seven and eleven. On another side, that there you can see that coefficient of y that in in first equation there is two and in second equation there is four. So you can do one thing. You can multiply equation one by two in order to make y variable same. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because here is two. When you multiply that by two, then it will be uh, then it will be equal. Okay, and then 4y, 4y that will be cancelled. Then 7 to the 14, 14x minus 11x, so it will be 3x. And then correspondingly, that when you solve on your left hand side, so it will be 48. And then here will be 48, 42, 6. And then 3x equals to 6, and x equals to 2. You will get okay. And when you will get that x equals to 2, okay. then you can plug in the value of x over there, and then you will get your answer. So now let's see that in which way that they are solving here. Yes, in the same way that as I explained that to you just before, you have firstly you have to whatever information that will be given to you regarding to information that you have to frame your equation, and after framing, then you have to think about that which variable that you have to equate. Okay, understand? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So here, we just, in a simple way that you can understand that uh, you you have to equate equation. One to two. So here, yes, yeah. You can see that clearly. 14x. You can see that they are also writing that equation one times two. So 14x plus 4y equals to 48. That means you will get there. 3x equals to six, and then x equals to two. Yeah. Okay. And then you have to substitute this value of x in any of given equation. Okay. And then you will get the value of yeah, y. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So y equals to five. 
understand suppose that if you are a little bit confused that either your value is right or not so whatever value of x and y that you are that you are getting there okay you just have to plug in both the values in any of equation if left hand side that will be equals to right hand side or suppose that if in on both side the value will be same so you have to understand that yes i did right okay otherwise if they will not satisfy then you have to understand that something that you did wrong there okay okay do you understand that yeah yeah uh, i understand great so now come to the next one oh wow so here you are seeing that do you understand all that beta which i explained just before yo oh, yes yes great so here beta four questions are there at least two questions that we have to solve that okay so just for your motivation just try to solve any of equation that means one or four you can solve that two or three you can solve that that's on your choice okay okay uh so which question you want to solve that um it's to other number the number 2 okay just try to solve equation 2 if you feel problem then i'll explain that to you Are you trying it on? Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Great. If you feel problem, better then I'll explain that. But don't be straight up asking that, okay? Sana, are you trying? Hello, Sana, are you trying? Yeah, 